My name is Alex Mukhubetjane Mashilo, SACP member of the Politburo and Central Committee. I'm also the national spokesperson and head of communications for the South African Communist Party. I wish to take this opportunity, dear comrades, on the occasion of the 32nd National Convention of your party to salute you and send you special greetings from the leadership and the entire membership of the South African Communist Party. We are looking forward to a great success from your 32nd National Convention. Here on the southernmost tip of Africa, in South Africa, we just emerged from national and provincial government elections. We suffered a great setback in the sense that our majority, under the leadership of the African National Congress, our ally in the Tripartite Alliance, which also comprises the Congress of South African Trade Union, declined from over 50% to 40%. This means that our movement cannot form a majority government and has to negotiate with those who received lower votes to form coalition arrangements. This is a difficult moment in the history of our democratic dispensation because we have not been in this situation before. Our president, Cyril Ramaphosa, the president of the African National Congress, has steered the ship in such a way that, unlike in other situations, we have a peaceful election outcome despite the results that we have at hand at the moment. We are looking forward to strengthening our party-to-party -party relations with yourselves from the epicenter of imperialism, which plays a destructive role in Africa and other parts of the world. And we appreciate that you are at the call phase of the imperialist maneuvers, onslaught and domination of the world. We are looking forward to the great role that your national convention will usher forward through its resolutions. We are happy that in your address, as well as in your program, you prioritize achieving a ceasefire in Palestine. That is essential. As the leader of our revolution, President Nelson Mandela once said, the freedom of the oppressed people of South Africa is incomplete unless the Palestinian people and others elsewhere across the world are free. Let us do our best, comrades, to eliminate the system of labor exploitation by capital and all consequent forms of oppression and domination for us to realize universal emancipation. Greetings to you on behalf of our General Secretary, Solima Paila, who is presently dealing with the outcomes of the election to ensure that within 14 days from June the 2nd, we have an established government because if that doesn't happen within 90 days, we have to return back to the elections. Thank you and all the best.